Yesterday, Russia's Red Star Channel aired a feature film on the Russian aviation industry's Su-57 fighter jet. And in addition to the IE that flashed in the feature film, what attracted the most attention, of course, was the Su-57M, the improved version of the Su-57, as well as the Su-57M, which has already been replaced with a new type of binary vectoring thrust engine tail nozzle on the left hair. As we all know, the Su-57S, which is the current state-of-the-art of the, the Su-57 fighter, uses the AL-41F engine, a deeply technologically improved version of the AL-31F engine. A subtype of this engine, the AL-41FS1, which also serves as the engine for the Su-35S fighter, is equipped with a ternary fluid thrust vectoring engine nozzle. The nozzle is installed in a tilted mode with a tilt angle of 33 degrees and is driven hydraulically after the aircraft is started, allowing it to be deflected in one direction or the opposite direction at the same time. Although the nozzle is only capable of uniaxial control, it can be used to control you while controlling pitch due to the installation of a certain tilt angle. On the Su-57, the same thrust vectoring engine mounting scheme is used as on the Su-35S, which is a ternary fluid uniaxial thrust vectoring nozzle for the AL-41F engine. The installation angle is not publicly available, but it should be more similar to the Su-35S fighter, with an elbow-jointed nozzle design and a three-part nozzle divided into the tail section of the engine's weighted combustion chamber, the nozzle throat with an elbow-jointed commutator, and the engine's tail nozzle itself with a hydraulic actuator connection. However, from the Russian Red Star Channel public information, Su-57 fighter jet improved Su-57M fighter jet. It is equipped with a thrust vectoring engine nozzle, but change changed it to a binary fluid vectoring nozzle similar to the F-22A fighter jet. The nozzle portion of the spoiler looks very similar to the F-22A fighter jet, but there is a difference. We all know that the thrust vectoring nozzles used in F-22A fighters have the horizontal line of the nozzle and the horizontal line of the fuselage and line. That is, there is no inclination. In contrast, the binary fluid vectoring nozzle installed on the Su-57M fighter jet adopts an installation scheme similar to that of the Su-35S and Su-57S fighters, with a certain degree of inclination. So, what are the considerations of this design? Why the Su-57M fighter jet abandoned the previous Russian commonly used ternary fluid and returned to the binary fluid on the road, the advantages of this design, RJ-20 fighter jet in the future, is it possible to use similar to the Russian thrust vectoring engine nozzle? In terms of design considerations, the current several types of thrust vectoring engine nozzles have their own advantages and disadvantages. There are several current nozzle models. The first is the use of gas rudder thrust vectoring nozzle. This form of nozzle Japan, once in their own God of the Heart technology demonstration aircraft on the test, but soon there is no further. The main factor is that although the structure of this type of nozzle is relatively simple, easy to realize, but the deflection control accuracy is poor, and after the installation of the thrust loss of the aircraft is relatively large, so soon no one to use. The second type of thrust vectoring nozzle that is more in line with our impression of the perception of the thrust vectoring nozzle is actually a ternary fluid thrust vectoring nozzle with multi-axial control. This type of nozzle form is equivalent to the thrust vector control unit integrated into the tail nozzle of the engine. With omnidirectional control capabilities, before such as our J-10BOVD is used in this thrust vector nozzle, Russia in the AL-51F engine has also tested this thrust vector nozzle. However, this kind of nozzle structure is more complex, the highest cost, the reliability requirements are higher, so it is relatively difficult to put into engineering practice. In these two kinds of thrust vectoring nozzle are not much technical application. The current actual put into use is also two kinds of thrust vectoring nozzle. One is the Su-35S fighter with a certain tilt mounting angle of the single axis ternary fluid, and the second is the F-22A fighter without the tilt mounting angle of the single axis binary fluid. And now the Su-57M fighter actually come to a technological compromise, become a single axis with a tilt mounting angle of the single axis binary. Fluid, which is quite interesting. Why did the Su-57M give up the single axis ternary fluid, but continue the design with tilted mounting angles? And what are the considerations for this design? The current speculation is that the Russian aviation industry wants to try to avoid the defects of ternary fluid and single-axis vectoring. Compared with the binary fluid thrust vectoring engine, 
The defects of the ternary fluid thrust vectoring engine is the hydraulic actuation load is larger. And at the same time, the engine tail nozzle both infrared and radar characteristics are more obvious. At the same time, the adjustment of China's overall naval strategy is also one of the important reasons for the slowdown in the construction of the 055 large drive. In recent years, China has been expanding the diversity and functionality of its fleet while gradually improving its naval combat power. With the increase in the number of Chinese aircraft carriers and the development of new carriers, the Navy needs to re-coordinate the production of different types of ships. In this case, the construction speed of the 055 DWD as the escort core force of the carrier battle group may be affected to a certain extent so that more resources can be devoted to other ships matching the carriers, such as lighter frigates, supply ships, and even more submarines, thus forming a more complete and flexible carrier battle group. Changes in the international situation also have an impact on the construction of the 055 large drive. Previously, the United States and the Asia-Pacific region, frequent military demonstrations and other activities, to China has brought no small military pressure. In order to cope with possible maritime threats and safeguard the country's maritime rights and interests and regional security, China has accelerated the construction of the 055 large drive. However, by 2024, the U.S. has shifted its strategic center of gravity devoting some of its efforts to Europe and the Middle East, which has led to a relative reduction in China's military pressure in the Asia-Pacific region. In this case, the urgency of the Navy's demand for large ships may be reduced accordingly, which will lead to adjustments in the construction program. In addition, the 055 large drive in the construction process also faces the challenge of continuous design optimization. Although the 055 large drive already has a strong performance, but with the rapid development of global armament technology, its performance requirements are also constantly improving. After already completing the construction of the first batch of eight ships, the Chinese Navy needs to summarize and analyze the experience of the previous use to further optimize the design and performance of the ship. For example, improvements and upgrades will be made in stealth performance, degree of informationization, compatibility and efficiency of weapon systems, and so on. These optimization efforts also require a certain amount of time for research and development and testing, resulting in a temporary slowdown in construction. Therefore, the slowdown in the construction of the 055 large drive is the result of a combination of factors. From technical challenges to the difficulty of materials and processes, to the impact of resource allocation and defense budgets, as well as changes in the overall naval strategy and international situation, all these factors have directly or indirectly led to the slowdown in the construction of the 055 DAWE. However, this does not mean that the construction of the 055 large drive has come to a standstill. On the contrary, as the technology continues to mature and the strategy is further clarified, the construction of the 055 DWD is expected to resume and accelerate in the future. In the future, the Chinese Navy may continue to increase investment in the technical upgrading and design optimization of the 055 DWD to enhance its combat capability and adapt to the needs of the future battlefield. Meanwhile, with the improvement of domestic manufacturing and research capabilities, the construction efficiency and quality of the 055 DAWE is also expected to be further improved. In addition, the Chinese Navy may also adjust and optimize the ship construction plan according to the actual needs to ensure the rational use of resources and the improvement of the overall co therefore, for the low detectability requirements of the higher fifth generation fighters. Low detectability performance is basically a button detail. Although the current use of ternary fluid nozzle fifth generation fighters are basically in the nozzle installed infrared shielding, but the role of Infrared shielding still looks worse than the role of binary fluid nozzles. So Russia and the Su-57M fighter or give up the three-dimensional fluids have matured nozzle, though the binary fluid nozzle was chosen. Since the choice of binary fluid or single-axis nozzle, why Russia set a certain installation angle on the nozzle? Obviously, this is a continuation of the Su-35S and Su-57S fighter design. Binary fluid single-axis nozzle benefits are effectively balanced between a simpler structure, a more reliable design, more effective, 
But its biggest problem is that there is only a yaw axis, such as the F-22A fighter aircraft only a pitch axis. The yaw axis of the vector control is not available, so there is only a half of the thrust vector control. In fact, the problem of ternary fluid single axis nozzle is the same. If the installation does not have a certain angle of inclination, then it can only be responsible for one axis upward deflection. So the thrust vectoring nozzle of the Su-57M is set to have a certain angle of inclination, and its design consideration should be the same as that of the Su-35S and the Su-57S, which is identical, and it is taken into account for both the pitch and the yaw control at the same time. Its intention should be to take into account the Su-57 fighter continued, the Su-27S fighter's central lifting body design, roll performance is relatively weak defects. By enhancing the yaw control ability of the vector engine to improve the Su-57M fighter's roll performance, reference Su-35S and Su-57S. This design is basically the base manipulation. Look a little strange, but definitely work. Of course, from the Red Star Channel public Su-57M fighter jet screen look, out of the Su-57 fighter jet, or the 052 prototype, two engines, only one replaced the binary single shaft thrust vectoring nozzle, the other is still the use of the old engine. And then refer to the Russian test flight of the AL-51F engine is also the product of the 30, which only proves that the Russian aviation industry is on the different configurations of the thrust vectoring nozzle the Russian aviation industry is. The most important thing, different configurations of thrust vectoring engine nozzle testing from which the selection of a most appropriate technical configuration out, the specific choice of which is still unclear, can only say that the binary single axis thrust vectoring configuration at present to see the probability of relatively large. When will the J-20 go on vectoring? The Russian test thrust vector engine test over there in full swing, RJ-20 fighter, we can only say that the probability is not there, right in the end are technical trade-offs. If we think that the J-20 fighter needs to improve its pitching ability or roll ability, then on the thrust vectoring engine, but from the design of the J-20 fighter, the J-20 fighter uses a duck wing plus side strip wing to generate the effect of the most powerful of the five generation aircraft. Plus, there is no central lifting body design brought about by the roll performance of the general problem and the main combat speed range of the J-20 fighter should be supersonic range, so it should be the decision to install the vector for the performance of the performance of the improvement is not imagined so big. At the same time, after the installation of vectoring also involves two problems. One is involved in the rear fuselage adjustment from the Su-57M fighter jet after the modification of the rear fuselage aerodynamic shape in the thrust vectoring engine near the tail nozzle of the transition is obviously hard look not so scientific look. Then look at the F-22A fighter's rear fuselage shape that is called a silky smooth, so increase the thrust vectoring engine tail nozzle is not just add a nozzle to solve the problem. It is possible that the entire aerodynamic shape have to be overhauled. Secondly, it is involved in the thrust vectoring engine itself. Thrust vectoring engine is also a certain loss of thrust to see if our J-20 fighter can accept this loss of thrust. If you can, if it can accept this loss of thrust, then it will be installed. And if it can accept this loss of thrust, then it will not be installed. So, J-20 fighters so far have not seen the thrust vectoring engine installed. It is not that we do not have this technology. To say that the thrust vectoring engine nozzle, we have various configurations, 2018 Zhuhai Air Show on the J-10 BOVT Show, 2022 China Air Show, China Airline developed similar to the F-119 binary single axis thrust vectoring engine nozzle. Or in the FWS-10 Taipei, 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 and the J-20. Taipei, FWS-10 Taiang engine. The use of composite material structure design, which proves that the relevant technology we have reserves only after technical trade-offs, not installed only. However, although the J-20 fighter did not install thrust vectoring engine nozzles, does not mean that our fifth generation aircraft will not be installed on such nozzles. After all, we have another fifth generation fighter J-35A well, as a shipborne body type use of the case of this type of aircraft for the pitch increase in the requirements of the higher, therefore, the J-35A fighter can install thrust vectoring engine nozzles on the contrary, it can be expected.